Hi everyone. In today's video, I am going to show you how I created a fireplace scene with snow. I am using Omniverse Composer 2023.2.2. Let's get started. Click on the top level menu, window, browsers, examples. Scroll down until you see FX underscore fireball one and double click on it. The first thing I am going to do is select the base of the fire, wooden CH large and hit delete on my keyboard. Next, I'm going to select the stage and hit delete. Now I will expand the environment and delete the dome light sky. Now I am going to bring in a scene that I already have to make this video go a lot faster. The scene is called Scene with Fire. I am going to give you a very brief tour of this scene. This fireplace is a sketch fab asset. The furniture is all NVIDIA assets. The picture is also a NVIDIA asset. I just changed out the image. The wall with four windows I made in Blender with the Array tool and a Boolean modifier. The logs I bought in the Blender marketplace for $3. I created the fireplace grade in Blender. I am not a Blender guru, so this was an accomplishment for me. And that is the end of the tour. Now I will show you how to set up the fire. In the stage, select Particle Source. This will bring up the Move Gizmo for the fire. Drag the fire into the fireplace. Now I am going to move the fire down and hit the R key to resize it. To tame your fire down, in the stage, select Flow Simulate. Scroll down and change the cell density size to 0.3. Change the time scale to 0.8. That's better. We will have to turn the time scale back up once I add the snow. Speaking of which, let's add snow now. To add the snow, we are going to use a website I built this month called Snow Creator. The URL is snowcreator.datajuggler.com. First, I will set the translate x min to 700. The translate x max to 1200. For the translate Z min, I will use negative 800. The translate Z max, I will set to 800. Now I will check the enable wind checkbox. This will enable all the wind controls. I will change the force percent to 75. This means 75% of the snow will get wind applied. I have already zeroed out the force X controls. The force X controls will move the snow front or back and I don't want that. I modified the force C and set them into 20 and the force C max to 50. I changed the velocity min to 40 and I set the velocity max to 100. This will move the snow left to right. You can use negative numbers here if you want the snow to blow from right to left. I will now click the create snow button. It takes about 30 seconds to create the snow. While we are waiting, I forgot to mention that I changed the number of objects to create to 6,000, which is the maximum. Here I increased the speed 400% to make this video faster. Now I will download this zip file to my temp folder. I will open the folder containing the zip file. Select the zip file. Right click. Extract all. Back in Composer, open the Content tab and drag your snow scene onto the stage. It takes about 15 seconds for your snow to get applied to your scene. I will scroll up so you can see the snow. There are two steps we need to complete before we can run the simulation. The first thing we need to do is add a physics scene. Under the Create menu, Select Physics, Physics Scene. With your Physics Scene selected, change the gravity magnitude value to 15. 
And finally, we need to enable an extension called Fabric. Select the menu item for window, and at the bottom select Extensions. Type in Fabric in the search box. Enable Fabric, the simulation extension. Fabric will keep your frames per second about normal while the simulation is running. One word of warning regarding the Fabric extension. You should save your work often while using it. I am now going to run the simulation by pressing play. It does take longer for your project to start once you add the snow. As you can see, now that the simulation is running, the fire is kind of tamed down. I am now going to increase the timescale back. Select the flow simulate in the stage. Scroll down and change timescale to 1.0. This brings the fire back up a little. You can now see the snow starting to fall. It is a little dark, so I should probably add some more light. I am now going to create one more snow scene, and that will be the end of this video. You can add as many snow scenes as your computer can handle. Around 10 or 12 you will see some GPU warnings, and you have to modify some values in your physics scene to fix it. Now I am going to stop our scene. As you can see, the fire comes roaring back. I am now going back to Snow Creator. The only thing I am going to do different this time is I am going to set the additional Y value to 2000. This will create this batch of snow higher up, so it takes longer to fall, thus increasing the duration of snowfall. Now I will click the Create Snow button once again. Now I will save the folder in my temp folder. Open the folder. Extract all. Back in Composer, I will now drag the snow scene to the stage. It takes about 10 or 15 seconds for the scene to load. I will now end with a video showing a lot of snow.